That was, that was Ben Walsh in that. Look as, at this. As, as well as El Bella. Look at that. Look how even they are down the straight. Almost have a glance across at each other. Come on, dude. Give us a wave. You can't hear me, obviously. They are neck and neck. This is amazing. <laughs> it's almost a game of chicken down to turn one. Who's going to break first? Go on, dude. You do it first. Holds on to position. Shuts the door. That double apex. Turn one, two, Regent. There is your leaderboard, Morris, from Ubergang. There it was, one hundredth of a second at the line last time by Pingle in third, Macro in fourth position. Pingle, of course, the championship leader after the round at Simmons Plains back in March. A couple of top five efforts there, but this is the battle of the race here as we work. Lap seven of 12 here at Hidden Valley. Oh, a bit of a bit of lock up there. See Morris' car really turning well in the middle of the hairpin there. Ubergang just using a little bit of curve at seven. You just see him there. Even able to just pull up on the back of Morris here in the little slipstream up the back part of the circuit. Double left-hander here. A little right kink, hard braking here. Now for a uh, braking as you're turning in. Clipping that new apex there. Hard on the gas now, down the straight. Now you just watch here. He'll be sitting right behind him. Just hang it there. No, Morris knows. Here we go again. It's a carbon copy of the previous lap. <laughs> this is great stuff. He has a glance up the mirror, hoping he's going to be there. This time, I think he's never enough. If he can just inch it across. Coming from the expert in the commentary box here. Easier said than done. And there you go. Paul appears again. He would have been looking in his, uh, his centre rearview mirror and his left-hand rearview mirror, just knowing exactly where Paul is. Jumping on the brakes and seeing that bright red and yellow car coming down at his, uh, his left-hand front mirror again. And here he goes up the inside here at turn five. Common place for passing. Oh, the dude hangs tough. This is great racing, and usually, and you know this better than anyone, when you're battling like this, you tend to bring the field towards you. These guys, in fact, driving away from the rest. Yeah, well, I think the other... We're not obviously getting a picture of the other the group, but um, I think they're all battling as well, so... It's busy. These guys did a good job to just um, make sure that they can get a bit of a break on the other guys. There is a bit of a gap there now in that, in that group, so... You've got Pinkle and Macro there that have got a little bit of a gap on Chamberlain. Walsh and Abila there. Still that yellow flag out at turn 10 and 11. So this is 6th and 7th. Back to the leaders, and this time he's going to go with him rather than trying to pull out early. Morris trying to break the draft. This track very much suited to Aussie racing cars. And the oh, drag race. Look at that. See, Paul, you can see there. Sorry, Matty. You're hot. He gets right in close. Paul, you can see him right in close to uh, Uber Gang's left rear wheel there. And what that does, it's like a NASCAR effect. It takes all the air off Morris's car, shoves it into the wheel arch of Uber Gang's car and slows him down. And that's the tactic that he used to stop Uber Gang from slingshot passing down the straight. Right. Here he comes again. This time he's been further down. Morris, and he's doing good here because he can't exactly just look to his right with a hands device, can he? No, he can't. It's very, very hard to see. He'll be watching his mirrors, seeing where Adam is. Great racing, though. Every lap they've been side by side so far. It's been fantastic. And don't forget, we've got three more races like this over the course of the weekend as Morris drifts out wide there through turn seven and Uber Gang. He's going to go the oh, long way around the, here. This is the yellow sector, too. So. Ubergang was in front of that sector, so, but he hadn't fully completed the pass. But he was in front of Morris when he got to that point. So that's going to be an interesting one. And these, they're so busy trying to fight each Look other. Him. The dude's got the thumb out the window. Some cool stuff. <laughs> See him here. He's trying to push the air in into the wheel arch of the car. Did you feel that? Absolutely. Yeah. It's like someone putting an anchor out behind you. It really slows the car up. Morris again down the inside. Imagine there was passing points right now. <laughs> These guys would take the championship lead the way it was going. Lap 10. Let's Here's the out. replay. Now, this might be the moment where... This might be where Paul Morris gives him the thumbs up, I think. I hope it's a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Paul gets a big slide on coming onto the straight. Adam gets a great run. You're looking at Morris here. Thumbs up, buddy. Because <laughs> only a matter of time. Good work. <laughs> and that would be hard to do at 200 k's an hour, <laughs> trying to get your thumb out the window. So he's got his left thumb out the window and he's got his right hand on the gear stick changing gears. Here we go, we're in lap traffic now at Uber Gang. This is going to be difficult down now, here. 
through the yellow sector. They can't pass here because it's yellow. They've got to wait for the green, which is down here. Spruce Bowler, they're trying to pass down there on the nine machine. It's out the way, and let's see. Leaders continue on with this as we come through to complete lap 10. Two remaining here in a thrilling opening race of the Aussie racing cars here at Hidden Valley as part of the Sky City Triple Crown for 2015. <laughs> Reminiscent, reminiscence of uh, Dick Johnson and Jim Richards going up Mountain Street yes. with the thumbs up, isn't it? From the first bath they saw watch all those years ago. Here he goes again, oh. they're glued, they tap momentarily. It's not game over yet. Out of music, all oh. oh. right a bit more. Now you don't want to pass through here. He want to set himself up nicely. Morris gives him a bit of racing room. And again, not far up to make a pass here. The NT Shipping Team Territory sponsored car of Paul Morris. A battle that's gone on for 11 laps is continuing on. They're five seconds clear now of Macro and Pingle in fourth. It's through turn seven, they come once again, touches that curb and it does unsettle it, doesn't it? It does, you can just see the difference there. Now just watch out for the yellow flag up here, Adam. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. You know, there, there has been a bit of overlapping and passing through that yellow sector. I know that's very frowned upon in um, certainly in the stewards room when there's a car there stranded at the side of the track. So the last four laps down there too. Now Uber game looks like he's got the better car out of the two. So maybe yep. Morris's tyres are just starting to see the wrong side of cool. Past he goes again. Looks over. <laughs> These two are loving it. A long way down, let's straight. And Morris says, no, 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 no. I'll take this back. You stay where you are. Boobergang says, I'll try the switch back through here. And gives him a tap on the that's final just, lap. That's just a re replay from the last one, I think. <laughs> they both set the fastest laps on that lap too. So it's actually quite impressive considering that they were side by side a little bit throughout the lap. An amazing race. We'll and see that... what happens. It's going to be interesting to see what happens coming onto the straight. Down to the slowest point of this course now. Yep. Uber Gang will just call oh, the Jets he, here a little bit. He just went in a bit hot and he's lost a little bit of ground there. He was always quicker through this turn seven. So let's see if he gains a little bit through here on Paul. He does. It's going to make it very interesting to run down to the, the flag. See if he can tow past Paul on the straight. He's got to try to set himself up and get nice and close though. Final turn. Last chance to do it. I don't think he can do it from I this point. Know. Perhaps or Morris gets a bit sideways here. And now Uber Gang going to try and get the slipstream here. They're coming towards the finish line. He's squirming the team territory huh. entry. Here Who's comes Uber Gang. This is going to be Uber a dead Gang's heat. Got it. Oh, Uber Gang is going to get it. Beautiful. Just, and it's 100th of a second. And they might as well give each other a <laughs> thumbs up because that was an absolute belter of a race. Great race. They could almost handshake in those things if they get close enough. Wow. 14 thousandths of a second at the finish line between Uber Gang and Morris. This now is Morris, the moment that could have come undone for Morris. Absolutely. Now he got a uh, he got a big slide on coming on the straight here. Adam was really hard. Look at Morris, real wide. That cost him. That cost him the race right there. Oh. Just trying to get a really good run on. And you can see Adam hard on the gas early. Using all the road. And you see Morris, left, right, left, right, trying to shake it so he can't actually tow on, on the back of him. Adam timed that perfectly. Oh. And there it is. That's 14 thousandths of a second of the finish Morris. <laughs> He's on the steering wheel. <laughs> Great racing from these two. The thumb, they almost do shake hands down. Or do oh, they? there you go. How <laughs> cool is this? Two great races going at it in the Aussie racing cars here today. We mustn't forget about Tim Macro and Brendan Pingle, who finished back there in third and fourth. But it was all about these two guys here, as, as ever, the side-by-side -side formation of the Aussie racing cars as they salute this great crowd here today, Hidden Valley. Confirmation of your results, there it is. Adam Ubergang, Paul Morris from Tim Macro in third, then Pingle, Chamberlain, down to James Abella in sixth, Walsh, Duckworth, Flack and Miles Bond in the top 10. Sam Milton got himself up to 12 down to Thompson, Brendan Tucker, Kent Quinn and Blake Chaveris down there in 20th position in race one over the pace of some of the cars towards the back of the field including Grant Thompson, Ruth Bowler and Michael Rinkin down the battle of the field. Well, we're going to take a breath right now but we're going to check out. Let's check the current market thanks to you, Bet.